Hello everybody and welcome to Black and White Tales print number 37. This time an image that I took really close by my house. It's um, here in the city of Boves in Italy and uh, this is just uh, on the hill that I can see out of the windows uh, half mile away. So uh, this was uh, a little cabin if we want to call it cabin. Uh, basically it was something just to put inside uh, tools and all this kind of thing so I don't think that anybody stayed there if not to protect for a summer storm but um, this little cabin uh, was in the most beautiful area of the city I think is uh, that hill is really beautiful and at the top of the hill, almost the top of the hill there was this uh, area with the vineyards and this beautiful cabin that by the way also in color is fantastic because there's it was painted with the with the um, oxide copper that you use to treat the, the vineyard and so it had that beautiful green uh, nuances of green and this kind of thing so it was a place where i went uh, uh, a lot of time to take pictures of the place or uh, something like portrait and all these kind of things it was really a great scenery. But last year I uh, arrived there and instead of this beautiful thing, this beautiful cabin with all this uh, pattern of history, I found uh, an ugly cube. Of concrete with just the window, this kind of things really ugly. It looks like a cube, and um, with the roof that was in the metal, unrelated metal, this kind of things really, really ugly. And this is something that made me think because, first of all, I think that in Italy uh, we are keeping too much the things from the past, uh, and everything is old, and uh, uh, sometime. Uh, we keep things that are ugly just because they are old and uh, probably in Italy we can uh, tear down uh, I don't know 50% of the country and that will still be okay not every place uh, is Florence and not uh, every building is the Sistine Chapel so uh, there are sometimes is right to just tear down things from the past but the problem in this case is this, it was perfectly, the idea to tear this down was perfect. Probably this thing was uh, uh, no more structural safe and had to, uh, it was too expensive just to fix it. And so it was okay for me the idea of tear it down. But why when you substitute it, you have to put something so ugly? It's tearing down is not, uh, bad things but the idea is I want to build something that is better also aesthetically um, I'm sure that the function of uh, the new the new cabin is uh, much better but uh, why not the aesthetic why we lost this idea to build something that was nice um, this was built probably originally in the beginning of 1900 or the late 1800 and uh, it was built with some um, harmony it was built uh, uh, first of all with the stones that were taken around the place just for economy but uh, uh, the roof and wood and all these kind of things it was nice it was very well integrated in the landscape now it is not and why don't we do the same why don't we keep the beauty but then uh, i was thinking in all our lives we are not keeping up with the idea of celebrate beauty uh, if you look at uh, me i'm here with just a sweater i'm here without uh, a shirt and a tie why and by the way i like when i have to dress for something but uh, we arrive at the point uh, where uh, the idea of uh, comfort is became uh, an idea that gets over the idea of beauty and that can be okay but we can do comfort and beauty um, if you think uh, 
you know, high heels for women are really uncomfortable probably. But uh, between high heels and the Crocs, there's uh, a lot of middle way that still can have beauty and uh, sexiness and let your legs look better uh, with with the com with some comfort with a total comfort uh, is not just the croc so the beauty is become something that is secondary and we are destroying things that were built uh, with a sense of beauty and we have teared them down because they are old and they deserve to be teared down but we are substituting them with something ugly and another thing that uh, for me is impressive and here is has to do with beauty uh, we have the people now all uh, uh, everybody is uh, concerned with the environment and protect uh, our planet and all these kind of things and we are you know doing the things uh, energetically to save the planet and then i go around and uh, i see in the cities like florence i see the garbage on the streets because they collect the garbage door to door so you see these uh, um, the sacks that are transparent so you can see inside that the people were good that they didn't mix the uh, the differentiated uh, collection but you see this in, in the cities and if you think a beautiful city like florence with garbage in the street uh, you go i was in central italy uh, last year and this year for vacation and you look around and there are these beautiful hills and some of them are just covered with solar panels that absolutely ugly we went from olive trees and vineyards to solar panels that really are ugly uh, every time you go in a place where there's some wind enter a valley um, i was in the going to the valsugana and uh, you arrive as soon as you arrive at the beginning of the valley you see a ton of wind mills huge and ugly that cover all the landscape and we are doing this we are destroying everything because we lost the sense of beauty and the sense of beauty is something that is important to survive as a human being humans have a sense of beauty animals don't have a sense of beauty animals are for comfort humans have a rational mind and they have a sense of beauty and we like to look beautiful um, years ago was normal uh, in any place also in the poorest places to have uh, the dress for the sunday that you go out to church and you were dressed up and uh, people was wow i feel good they were going out and you know, if I have to take a picture of myself, I go dressed like that. I don't go with the working clothes. Now there's no more difference. If you look around, it's the same clothes every time. And basically now you see a lot of people that if uh, they have to go, for example, to a wedding and they have to put a tie, they don't do that. It's, uh, they consider that, oh, I cannot survive with that. And you think, why? It was not like that. It was... Uh, uh, the idea to be beautiful was a positive idea and the same was for a lot of women that uh, uh, were they tried to be better to be more beautiful to wear the right things now it's comfort you take a walk and you go to buy groceries at walmart or something like that and look around and sometimes really how can you not see how ugly is what we are putting on um, and we are losing the sense of beauty and losing the sense of beauty we are losing the sense of humanity we are losing the idea that we are uh, something special because we are human and uh, with this if we lose the sense of beauty is not a problem to um, ruin uh, a landscape to save the planet in theory with windmills or do these kind of things and uh, it's something that we are arriving at the level of 
animals. And by the way, uh, we lose the sense of beauty and there's another thing that is connected to this, is that when we were uh, having this deep sense of beauty and uh, a simple a simple farmer that probably uh, never went to a school or something like that built something like this that is uh, nothing special but has nice proportions and it fits with what is around at that time um, nobody ever uh, think about uh, the fact that we have to sacrifice and we have to uh, I don't know. Eliminate ourselves and feel guilty, and let the be, and, and let something as the beauty be killed. Something that is very human as the beauty be sacrificed for something that is, uh, you know, to save our future, uh, like with windmills. Also, because we always had this idea that we were much better, so we were able to save the world also doing something beautiful and the thing is okay if windmill sucks we can do something better um, in that where is the nuclear fusion for example that is absolutely perfectly clean and clean if we had spent all the money we spent on green energy to study that at this point we would be energy absolutely free independent and everything with the best source without any need to put solar panel on our beautiful hills in Italy or windmills on our in our beautiful valleys so that's the difference we are losing the sense that we human can reach any goal we want to reach that we can do something much better and this is reflecting with the fact that we are not more trying to show ourselves as the beauty um, we are not ready to express all the beauty and the positive things of the human being but we are deleting the beauty we are deleting the beauty and we are eliminating the beauty from our life because we don't think we are worth of beauty in some way so okay this was just long and probably i got a little bit uh, out of the of the main uh, idea but uh, that was my meditation of uh, this week so this is the image and as usual please go to check out the original on my website there's a link down there so you can see it uh, as, uh, as best as you can and um, as usual thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video please put a subscribe Put a like, subscribe to the channel, um, go to my website and subscribe to my mailing list. Thank you again for watching, keep creative, stay free and have a lot of fun.